Okay, we got our sampling maximize or optimum or overkill, whatever you mean. Uh, let's try to decode and see the effect of this uh, sampling. If we do under sampling, let's go back to the time base of two milliseconds per division to have the entire trace somewhere over here. Uh, move slowly slowly the 25 million point on the display and uh, from that point now we could activate the the code uh, let's go to the display and change the transparency to no yes no transparency that's not beautiful yeah whatever uh, show scale, keep it there, but I want to show you the code. The code, the code. So the code one, I square C, you have to match your, your uh, D1 serial clock, so it needs to match. This is why I always put the, the uh, analog number of the channel from one, from zero to uh, 15 or one to 16, whatever but it's name 0 to 15 on the, uh, on the scope itself. Um, and now you could match it. Uh, nothing much here to do. Um, uh, you could exchange it if you don't, uh, instead of changing your probe of position. Read, write, with or without is, uh, depending on the protocol, you have to do uh, one of those. Uh, let's display in eggs we could display in ascii but eggs is very short uh let's activate that bus on and now the um we got something here i will move the uh, trace a little bit away so we have some kind of space here the digital is over here by the way you could change the portion of the label anywhere on the screen but not the digital one uh, we could put the digital decode so the clock is on the top and the bottom one is the data uh, then i could put back my analog trace over here and now the idea is to look at this so there's too many results there are too many data on this place uh, it's unable to show everything it will be too small let's move first to um the first part and then we zoom on it and we will see meaningful decode of the i square c protocol so the um so we got uh, it's by packet, so we recognize here one packet. Let's move the label again. Uh, the clock synchronizes the data, so you don't have to specify a clock speed uh, like a serial uh, protocol RS232 or if it, uh, anything like that, because the, the speed is encoded in the clock uh, there. So it, uh, the scope needs to look at the clock and sample the data at those, uh, I don't remember, it's a filing or, or rising edge. And then it, it see if it's a one or a zero and then it uh, decode the protocol. Uh, you got those triangle in between. Uh, they are yellow right now. So it means that it successfully decoded and there is no error. If it turned red, it means there is some error over it. So let's uh, move over time. So write zero, zero on the address 60, 60, zero, 60, zero, things like that. So you got the uh, right, the right, zero, 10. And sometimes uh, you see the display, it's not synchronized well. And you have some uh, difficulty to display the result. Uh, that's one way to look at it, but there is a better way. Uh, let's move to keep the entire display on top. 
and so it was a two millisecond. Leave it there as it was. And now we go to decode and activate the event table. So now we got everything. Um, so write address 60, 00, zero sometimes there are 2, 1, 3, and sometimes 5. And I got a difficulty with the scope. The scope is unable to decode 5. I will do a separate video on that. But basically, we got address 60. At the end, we got address 62. So there is a different device, device listening to uh, uh, this address and it receive a three byte uh, character. You got portion over time and you could find out where it is. So by the time base on the bottom, starting at the trigger triggering point, it got one up to one, uh, let's say two millisecond. And then it jumps to something like six and you see the rest of the uh, the stuff so zero to one two something and then six and more for the second kind of a packet and there is kind of a gap here uh, we could see this is where the uh, 400k was working everyone is all right there is some time a read uh, address seems the same so you, we could now explore the triggering effect but I want to show you something uh, for the uh, sampling and the decode error first. 